Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. Uh, just a bit, I guess, a bit of a update that we currently have here. Um, everyone's getting ready for the bull run and for the having. Uh, what we have always seen within the cryptocurrency space, as once again, Bitcoin has only been around for roughly around 15 years or so. Um, as we move into every having, as we move into every bull run, a number of things take place, and this one is a the precursor of it as well. Um, it's basically based, and I mean, there are a number of factors, and no one knows exactly why. Wink. However, it's believed that the wealthiest people tend to do this. Uh, the amount of Bitcoin on crypto exchanges is continuing to fall. So when I say that we do not know the exact reason as to why this is happening, the general idea is that people have no intention of selling their crypto, selling their Bitcoin. So they take it off of exchanges to kind of safeguard it. We don't know the mentality behind it. And the idea is that these people simply put their crypto away somewhere for however long they need until they maybe find the point in their life when they actually do want to sell it. That's one of the ideas. The other part has to do with whales. Therefore, why I said very rich people are believed to do this. We've seen the correlation between there being a lot, because there's not a lot, of Bitcoin. On crypto exchanges, we see that prices tend to fall. And when there's not a lot of Bitcoin on exchanges, prices begin to easily rise. If there's not a lot of crypto, if there's not a lot of something or anything somewhere and people begin to buy it, the price begins to rise for it. We've seen a number of years ago, we do not know who these individuals are, that people would actually, if you were here years ago, people would actually put their crypto onto exchanges. These are people who held 29,000 Bitcoin. They owned all this Bitcoin. And they would put it onto crypto exchanges to do one of two, usually one of two things. Uh, one was to scare people and get people to sell. Maybe the same thing. The idea was that people believe that if this person has so much wealth and has so much money and has so much Bitcoin, if they're depositing it onto a crypto exchange, they're planning on selling. If they're planning on selling, the price is going to fall. If the price is going to fall, I have to front run them. I have to sell before anyone else can sell so that I can kind of secure my money. The problem is, is that more often than not, these people simply just put, it sounds crazy. This happens in every market. They would simply put it out there with no intention of actually selling, knowing that other smaller players in the market, and I, and I, and I heard someone say that's not fair. I know it's not fair, but it's currently how the world works. And it happens for the real estate market. It happens for the diamond market. It happens for the gold market. It happens for every single market. Larger players figure out how to push out smaller people within every single market so that they can accumulate stuff for a lot cheaper. So if you flood the market with something, even if you have no intention of selling it, the price is going to drop. A lot of times before, and it took people a while to figure this one out, this is like 2018, 2019, a lot of people used to put their crypto whales, used to put their crypto, their Bitcoin onto exchanges. And they would actually initiate a sell order, but it was with very specific metrics. If you've ever tried to sell your crypto on a, or you've ever day traded or watched someone day trade, you see how like it looks completely insane. You can put tons of metrics. I needed to sell when this appropriate thing happens. When this spread is this much and this percentage of this is that, and this hits that, and Bitcoin's ratio to this, really detailed. But what a lot of people who were trying to day trade and or simply were in the market. If you ever looked at some of the spreads, they have like very fancy colorful ones where like some of it's red, some of it's green. But if you see the red, it usually means selling. And some of them, if there's a huge sell order, at least years ago when I was looking at these exchanges, it'll come up like in a huge block, a lot larger than everything else, showing the actual volume of what's trying to be sold. And yeah, people would completely get freaked out because someone had initiated a sell order sell order for 29,000 Bitcoin and everyone else would completely panic and all of a sudden the sell order would disappear as the price moved down to a certain amount. All those coins would get scooped up and then we the next day would have news about whales bought a whole bunch of Bitcoin. So part of this channel and the other channel has also been me like trying to warn people that these things are going to happen. It is a very, a very common form of manipulation that we've seen. 
The other end of it has to do with taking coins off of exchanges, and this is also done nearly, but not always exclusively by whales. There are a large number, a large number of Bitcoin maximalists who do not believe in keeping their coins on exchanges. And what they end up doing is they buy and then they move it off of the exchange nearly instantaneously because they don't want to have a situation uh, where an exchange tells them, no, you can't do this with your money. Uh, for those of you who've never experienced that, uh, what ends up happening is, let's say you buy... Uh, a coin for $50. And at some point over the course of the next three years, that $50 balloons to $25,000 for that thing that you bought before. You try and withdraw it, but you can't because you're now over that $10,000 threshold. You have to now register with that cryptocurrency exchange. If the price goes up or down, you can't trade with it because you're not registered on the exchange as well. And there's all these different things. So there is a huge group of people who believe in taking their coins immediately off of exchanges. A lot of the news that we tend to get or have been getting for a while revolves normally around whales. And when I said that we're seeing the precursor to the actual bull run, because we're not in it yet, for those of you who don't understand, did the precursor to the actual bull run and also the halving, is that people begin to take their coins off of exchanges. It creates an additional supply crunch. We don't know what the reason for it is. We can only assume on a larger level they're creating an additional form of scarcity. They have their coins on their exchanges to try and essentially scare people. People see that there's a lot of coins on the exchanges. People that aren't as active, they can get in at a smaller amount. This is also why we see institutions typically buying OTC or over the counter. It's because they don't want their metrics, the money to actually hit a cryptocurrency exchange so that you see that a buy order for $1.6 billion came up. It would move the price up far too much. So recently, an analyst, we've heard from them before, Ali Martinez, um, announced that a huge amount of Bitcoin in the last 30 days has left all exchanges. And it comes out to around 111,000 Bitcoin. Roughly around $7.5 billion has been transferred out of crypto exchanges back into some of the old wallets where they were before because these people, one, usually never planned on selling. You, I mean, how, you know... No one goes, hmm, I think I'm going to take all 111,000 Bitcoin out of the market at the exact same time. It's done basically because they have no intention of selling. The fascinating part is, for those of you who aren't paying attention, is that all the Bitcoin on the exchanges isn't liquid. It has nothing to do with those that were taken off or the coins that are available. A lot of people have no intention of actually selling their coins anytime soon. Some people do use it as like a form of like a bank account. So while you may have your crypto in a, in a ledger, or on some kind of self-custody thing on your computer. A lot of people have it on Robinhood. They have it on Coinbase as like another version of a bank account that they simply use. But they have no intention of selling, especially as we're getting news that Bitcoin might end up going to a million dollars over the course of this decade. Uh, when this happens, and we're going to get more and more news as to the amount of Bitcoin that's being taken off, this is when the real supply crunch ends up hitting because we get more accurate numbers as to how much Bitcoin there actually is available and how much is going to be moving. There are also like short-term and long-term holding metrics and stuff like that as well. But uh, 111,000 Bitcoin taken off in less than 30 days is completely insane. It's showing that like they're literally getting ready for the thing that's going to happen in a couple of days. They're making sure that the market knows that those coins are off the table and you have to buy directly from the crypto exchanges and even then any buy order in a situation where there's barely any bitcoin left for those of you who've been missing the last couple of videos you should go uh peruse a tiny bit uh nearly every day nearly every day we've gotten news that there are institutions who are like now desperate to buy tons of bitcoin uh don't forget as well for those of you who weren't here about a month ago, uh, universities in the States are also buying tons of Bitcoin as well. Like multiple, like what are they called? Uh, uh, su, su, cube, cube, CUNYs? I want to say CUNY. Anyway, yeah, the buying continues. People are restructuring the market to make sure that everyone knows that Bitcoin is... Uh, rarer than ever. The price predictions that we're getting are absolutely insane. Some of them, the, 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 the best ones 
are literally only three months away. And that's the one that I'm currently keeping track of the most, because if we end up hitting that number in, in three months, I mean, all bets are off as far as like how hard <sighs> trying to keep my cool. It's simply because if we hit those numbers in three months, we're going to see a half a million dollar Bitcoin before anyone can actually even realize it. Uh, and this is how it starts. People taking their coins off of exchanges. Anywho, I do hope that you've all enjoyed. I do hope you've all prepared, have gotten prepared, are preparing, have uh, gotten your crypto all in a row, as it were, because, yeah, it's just about go time. Uh, thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.